What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Mike B's Life Hacks. Hey, this stuff these days, it's like gold. Like, every time I go to the grocery store, I cannot find this stuff anywhere. They might as well be selling it on the stock market like a commodity. All right? If you're having troubles like I am, I got six people in my family. This stuff goes quick. Between all the noses and butts and cuts. Here's my solution. Boom. The bidet. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Clear Rear bidet. I have never used a bidet before. Nobody in my family has. So this is going to be something new. So let's go ahead and take a look inside. I just got these today. Uh... It says easy setup in three steps. Looks simple enough to me. Let's take a look at what we got here. Okay. Looks like we got the actual unit that connects on top of the toilet lid. And the only other thing in there is this package here comes with your tape it has your uh, two-way valve and it has your hose for the connection let's go ahead and take a look at installing this baby hey if you like this video please subscribe give me a thumbs up and please leave your comments below so I can get back to you all right here's what you're gonna need screwdriver and a cross wrench. That's pretty much it. First things first, if you've never taken off a toilet lid, let's take a look at that. All right. So first of all, all you got to do is pop these up. You can pull them up with your finger. Just take a screwdriver and start twisting those bad boys. You can feel underneath there is a tab there. Once you get them loose, you can go ahead and uh, take those off. You can just unscrew them with your hand. Okay, once you have the screws unloosed, I put them together, just put them on top here. Boom, toilet seat comes off. I highly recommend at this time, be a good time to wipe this baby down. You can see we wipe these toilets down regularly, but there's just, it's covered up by the lid and all kinds of stuff. So take this time to clean your toilet seat up. Okay, once we got that, we need to turn the water off. Okay, make sure you can see that. Got to turn the water off. Simply just twist that valve clockwise so it's nice and firm. I'm going to flush my toilet. It's going to get the water out of this tank. I'm going to flush it again. Try to get the remaining. I'll probably just hold that lever down. If you look on the inside, the bowl will probably be down to here. We should be good to go. All right, let's go ahead and remove this here. Just use a crescent wrench, turn counterclockwise. Might be a little bit of water that comes out. Once it gets loose enough, you can just use your hand and twist it off like that. Okay. Boom, trim this up so it all doesn't leak out. 
Yeah. We even twist it, put it into the wall. We are going to get a little bit of water, so not a big deal. Just wipe it up. All right. Now let's see what they give us in this package here. This is the hose we're going to need that extends to the bidet. This is the uh, thread tape for water. And here's the new valve. Okay, this gasket needs to probably sit like that. Actually, no, it's going to sit like that with the domed side down. You can see that it kind of dips down right there. So we're going to put that in there like that. This is going to attach to that. Hmm, interesting. Oh, I see. This is not a double valve. I was expecting a double valve here. Interesting. Let me go ahead and pause it. Okay, I'm going to follow the instructions exactly like it has it on here. One, turn off water supply. Two, remove toilet seat. Three, attach clear rear. This is how it sits. You can see there's a hole there and there. And then four, it says reattach toilet seat. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy. Let's line that up here. I'll be curious to see. Just make sure the holes line up. Uh -huh. You might have to turn those a little bit so they do line up. There we go, I see it. Let's see if we can get these reattached. I don't even know if these are long enough. Let's see. Uh, yes, it feels like they might be long enough. Yeah, they are long enough. I wasn't sure if they were. Just go ahead and slip the bolts through and start threading it. You can hand tighten it. And once you get it by hand, you can go back in and just crank it with the screwdriver. So it's nice and firm. Bolt through the hole, make sure they line up. And then attach this plastic wing nut underneath. Just screw it in until it hand tightens. You gotta hold the screw in place so the screw doesn't twist. Okay. That's pretty good right there. I got that one cranked down. And that one's cranked down. Okay, lock those down. Step five connect T adapter between water supply line and toilet. Attach flexible hose to T adapter and clear rear. All right, let's see how this works. So, the T adapter is here. This is where I don't understand. Ah, it shows this, the T adapter coming off the back of the tank. That's interesting. Oh, I see. I see what's going on here. Ah, 
shoot, this thing's tight. Can work on getting this baby off. It's tight. All right, I can tell you this thing's been a pain in the butt to get that tab off underneath the tank. Basically, got to hold the thing on the inside, and then I had to use this wrench, open it up, and really crank it. It was on there tight, so I've broken it loose now. Make sure you got a rag down there. There's probably going to be still some water kind of seeping through. Just keep it down there. All right. And boom. All right. So this says that the after goes on top of this adapter. I could see the valve is going up, which is interesting. So let's go ahead and do that. I just looked at the old one. The washer is going towards the tank, so I was wrong. I flipped the washer so the curved part is facing up. That needs to go on this tab here. Now remember when you're threading in plastic, make sure it's on. If you cross thread it, you're gonna ruin it. Okay, and you don't wanna over tighten the plastic knobs cause they will crack. So get it hand tight and then a little bit past that. Right now, I've got it pretty good on hand tight. I'm just gonna take the wrench. Actually, I'll just open this up. stuck there okay number righty tidy lefty loosey Got to do. I like to wrap everything in the white tape. I'm sorry. All right. So if you've never seen this before, you wrap this around the threads a few times, and then you just break it off. Okay. We got it going in the threads here. Let's see. And when you put it on, wrap it in the direction that you're going to be tightening it down. Otherwise, it gets twisted in there. Okay. There we go. Let's see how that works. Make sure your hose valve is sticking out because you're going to need to connect it to here. Alright, that's good. I don't want to over tighten it. Uh, remember, when you're working with, I've always found that with toilets, I've always got leaks, dude. 
Yeah, so it's a real fine-tuned process. If it's leaking, go back in, screw it in, add some more tape. You really gotta fine-tune it because it's all most of it's plastic. Alright, so let's go ahead. Let's see here. Okay. So I'm gonna reconnect the one that I took off. That one goes on there. Let's see how this works. it to the valve here remember when you're threading you may have to tweak the hose a little bit until you get that first thread going it feels like I might have this one going already that would be sure do that's pretty cool if you can't get it on by hand you need to unthread it because you're probably trying to cross thread Give it some turns. Just snug enough, but don't over tighten it. All right, this one, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap that with some of this tape here. This tape seems really soft, soft softer than usual. I like to start it like that and just start wrapping it around. This one is actually kind of difficult. I'll take a little strand, break it off, and then I'll wrap it. I don't have a lot of room to work in here. All right. Two or three times around, and you should be good to go. See if we can get this all threaded with one hand. All right, got it going. Good. Let's give that a couple of little cranks. Okay, it's pretty tight. And then the final one goes underneath here. Let's take a look. Go ahead and put a couple of a little tape on this. This is a plastic thread, but I'll be really amazed if I don't have any leaks in this thing. Like I said, when I've worked with toilets before, it seems like it's just always leaking. Wrap it around. Bada bing, bada boom. And then let's attach. Okay. Remember this is plastic, so I don't want to over tighten. You can feel if it's going on easily. It will be a little snug. It will be a little snug when you got a lot of that tape on it. That's okay. You can feel it's cutting through the tape. 
every time I twist, when it starts to get resistance, like right now, I know I'm getting towards the top. I really don't want to go past that point. I think that's pretty good. There you go. Now the moment of truth. Turn the valve on and watch for leaks. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have leaks. I mean, it's just the way it is. Right now I'm looking up. I got a leak. Where's that coming from? All right, stop. Now with water, you really have to figure out where it's coming from. I notice it is coming from here. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep tightening this one. I didn't see any other leaks. I didn't have it in all the way. Let's see how that goes. turned on right now okay I was getting leaking out of the bowl because the bidet was turned on I got water all over me right now um, I don't see any leaks right now one good way to check wipe the floor down really good Anytime I'm working with plumbing, I don't want any small drips, especially I have a vinyl flooring, so I'll be able to withstand some drippage. A lot of people have tile, but if you have like laminate wood floor, a little drip will ruin your entire floor. So I'm feeling around right now. I don't feel anything. Okay, so let's test this baby out. According to the instructions, water pressure from low to high. So you can adjust the uh, pressure. And then for the nozzle, there's a cleaning cycle. They recommend you always run the cleaning cycle before you actually use it. So let it run a little bit on cleaning. And then it goes all the way up to, it's called woman cleaning. All right, so guys. I don't know if we could use that, but we'll try. So let's go ahead and put it on nozzle clean. We'll see what that does. Uh huh. Nozzle clean sprays straight down into the toilet, cleaning off the head of the spray thing. So I would turn that off. Let's turn it towards our nozzle selection. There it is. It's spraying out. That's all the way up. If I have it on low, it's real gentle. All the way to super blast. All right. Okay, let's try woman cleaning. Let's see what that does. Woman cleaning. Oh, I see there's two heads. There's two heads that pop up. One sprays that way, the other one sprays that way. So if you got woman parts, you got a special head designed just for you. And there you have it, my hands all wet. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. Leave me some comments if you like to see anything different. Um, please subscribe and peace out. God bless America.